Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Tomcat Stitchery. I'm Whitney and I am here with a, a kind of a lead up video um, for next week. So I mentioned that I was going to do knit dresses today. I'm going to hold off on that and wait until after the Love Notion sale. So <laughs> knit dresses video of the new knit dresses that uh, patterns that I've been trying um, and which I'm wearing one today, my Wanderlust dress. Um, but I'm going to be having kind of a roundup of that probably the week after I think. I've got some sponsored videos coming up too. A lot of fun things on the channel coming up. If you've not subscribed, make sure and do that so you don't miss any of the good stuff. But today I am doing kind of a lead up video to next week, which is the Love Notion sale. Um, and there's a big giveaway. So I wanted to give you all the upfront information so that when Monday hits, we can hit the ground running. Um, okay, so before we get into that though, um, speaking of Love Notions, you're gonna have a lot of Love Notions content in the next week. <laughs> So, I mean, I love them. I'm a brand ambassador, but I just really, I love them as a pattern company. Um, they are definitely one of my favorites. Uh, but anyway, um, today is Friday, and so it is um, their Feature Friday. Now, there will not be a Feature Friday pattern for them next week because that'll be the last day of the sale. Um, but today, the Feature Friday pattern, which is $5 only today, is the Octave Coat, which is a fantastic really cool pattern. Um, it has a hooded option and a shawl collar option, but there is also a blog post for like an exaggerated like wide collar um, that I think Tessa did, but there is a post for that on the website um, for a hack and there's, I think there's pattern pieces that go with that as well. Anyway, the pattern is $5 only today. It is a beautiful coat. There's a post um, on the website as well with um, fabric suggestions and all that kind of thing. It's a woven coat so you can make it with wools and all sorts of things. Um, Tess, Tess, no, not Tessa, Tammy, Tammy did one with a wool, I mean, it's one of the pictures on the, on the pattern, it has like a wool lining, or, um, not wool, <laughs> faux fur lining on the hood, so good, um, but there's, uh, like, not hooded versions as well, anyway, really neat coat, five dollars today only, which is a fantastic price, now, the sale that starts next week, um, all, Patterns are going to be site-wide 40% off, except for the Arlington, um, because it's uh, just a new pattern release. But the $5 is more of a deal than the 40% off. So um, just kind of a heads up on there if that's a pattern you've been kind of eyeing as we're starting to get into changing seasons, especially if you're in the Northern Hemisphere and we're going into, if you're going into some cooler weather. Because um, this coat doesn't have to be made in wool. You could make it in a heavier weight linen if you wanted. Um, just any, you know, no matter your um, weather, whatever kind of, how light or how heavy that you would want the coat. But anyway, I'm excited to try and make this coat and I really wanna do that this year. Um, I've not had a chance to make that up yet, but that is today's Feature Friday pattern. Okay, so today I'm gonna to be going through my top 10 Love Notions patterns. One of the things that I love on the Love Notions site is that um, next to all of the patterns, there's like a little heart underneath it that you can click on it and it will add it to your wish list which I think is super handy, you know, if you just kind of, I don't know, if you see something that's inspiring and you're like, oh, I love that. I don't need it, you know, I don't have time to sew it right now, but maybe if it comes up for a future Friday or, you know, sale or whatever, then I've got my wish list made and then I can go on there and buy it when I'm ready. So I just don't forget, um, maybe something I was inspired by. So I thought today might be a good time for me to talk about my top 10 cool weather patterns. Um, there's others that I make that I really enjoy that are more for warmer weather. So because I'm going into the cooler weather, I thought I would just do, and some of these patterns I'm highlighting can go either way, but um, these are more my cool weather patterns that I are my top 10 favorite. Um, and if any of these strike your fancy, I'll be popping up pictures of the ones that I have made, then maybe you could just go on there, click on the, the little heart and uh, get your wish list started for Monday. Now. Also, before I get started, um, Love Notions is going to be running a giveaway, and um, it is either a sewing machine or a serger. They're letting the winner pick. But the cool thing about this is, is that they are giving the ambassadors complete um, reign to run their own giveaways, and so each ambassador will pick a winner and then put it into the hat for the grand prize, which is the sewing machine or serger. But whoever wins each um, ambassador giveaway gets a free pattern of their choice, which is really excellent. So I'm going to be running that giveaway over on Instagram. So if you don't, um, follow me yet, that will all be going up on Monday. So, you know, head on over, follow me on Instagram and you can enter to win over on my Instagram um, page on Monday's video. Cause I'm, I'm mixing up the schedule for, um, videos going out next week. So there'll be a video up on Monday instead of Tuesday next week, um, but I'll have a link to that um, Instagram post 
in that video. So um, yeah, you can kind of wait and we'll talk a little bit more about that coming forward. So you're definitely gonna wanna turn it, tune in on Monday. You can just hit Instagram Monday morning. I will have that up fairly early um, to host that giveaway over there on Instagram. Okay, <laughs> so many exciting things. All right, so my top 10 love notions patterns. Let's get started. All right, number one, and these are in no particular order. Honestly, these are, well, they are kind of in an order. They're in alphabetical order because as I was going through my own files and like, okay, what would I, you know, deem my top 10 for the current weather or the cooler weather and my files are in alphabetical order. So these are in alphabetical order. Um, but number one is the Arlington. Now this one unfortunately is not part of the sale, but it is such a good one. Definitely, even if you don't get it in the sale, hit that little heart for wish list um, and I would wait for that to come up or just go ahead and buy. There's so many, it's a still great bang for your buck even buying it at full price because there's so many variations. Um, this was just released a couple of weeks ago though. I made the kind of a crop version with the band at the bottom with a nice balloon sleeve or bishop sleeve that goes into the nice high cuff. Um, it comes with a mock neck, a cowl neck or a turtleneck. Um, it comes just like with a regular shirt or then obviously the banded one like I did or a dress, which I'm so excited to make a dress. Um, you can make this in cotton lycra. You can make it in viscose lycra, rayon lycra, sweater knits. Um, you could even do ponte for the dress or actually you could do ponte even if you wanted more of a sweater feel. Um, my version that I'm showing here, I would used a, a sweater knit. It was a wool acrylic spandex blend from Minerva that I think is also, I think all the colors are sold out right now. Um, you guys went nuts, uh, or I'm assuming, uh, when I posted, I think my color sold out really quick, but then there were like three or four other colors that I think also sold out, but I really have been enjoying that. But any nice thicker sweater knit will work. It's a fantastic pattern. Okay, number two is the Ballad Blouse. This is a fairly new one as well. I think this one was released back in the spring maybe, and it has two options. It's just a really pretty V-neck button-up blouse. It has a few sleeve options. I really want a long sleeve one for um, the upcoming like fall. Um, I have a list, I have so many things I wanna make. I just really need like <laughs> two weeks of no nothing so that I can just sit down here and make things, um, which is not gonna happen. But um, I love this pattern. It has two yoke options. So it's got a smocked option where you are smocking basically with, um, or shearing, shearing with elastic. Um, although you wouldn't have to use the elastic necessarily because it doesn't need to stretch. You could actually just do traditional smocking in that area. But she has instructions on how to do with the elastic bobbin thread to just really pull that in. Or there's a version with the gathered. So this version that you're looking at, I used a um, viscose crepe and um, I did the elastic uh, bobbin thread, the shirring. So beautiful. I love this blouse. I get compliments on it every time I wear it. Um, you don't even really have to have a working button placket on this one. It could easily go on and off over your head. All of these come with the full bust, bust options and come in the full size range. Range. I'm pretty sure all of these that I have, I'm almost positive that I am um, tackling today. <laughs> but um, yeah, I love this blouse so much. And really, again, I'm very excited to make another one. Okay, number three is the Breckenridge. Where is it? On here. Oh, okay. Um, number three is the Breckenridge Henley. Now, I couldn't find a good picture of myself wearing this one. Um, I, I don't know what happened to, okay, so I'm showing you a picture, it's just not a great picture, but this is my olive green. I made it in a cotton modal spandex blend. I love this shirt so much. It gets worn so much. I also use this pattern to make a pajama top that I um, wear with shorts for kind of the summer. This is just such a flattering top. Again, you don't, I mean, I didn't make either of them functioning buttons on the Henley part of the shirt. Um, I mean, the my one I sleep in, I didn't even put buttons. I just kind of sewed things down so that it would easily slip on and over my head. Um, and I just didn't want buttons, you know, because I'm going to sleep in it. And I think I may make myself a long sleeve one. I've not made a long sleeve version yet. I've made the short sleeve to sleep in, and then I made the version that you're seeing here that has the turned up cuff with the little um, tab that I just think is so flattering. But this one just, it just skims the body so beautifully. It also has the the full bust front if you need it, which I do. Um, and yeah, I, I love, I love this pattern. And also I really, really want to make the dress. <laughs> so, so far the Arlington and the Henley, I really want to make dresses and the Breckenridge Henley, I really want to make dresses out of both of those. 
Okay, next up are the duet trousers. I just made these. They were just on the channel on Tuesday. I am loving them. Now, I will say that the fabric that I used, while it's very comfortable, I, I think I'm going to have to like wash and dry these after every time that I wear them because that's, it's got so much, and I was wor worried about this because they're so stretchy. Um, there's so much spandex, I can tell, in that fabric that it would bag out a little bit, and I am noticing that. So, because um, I wore them for the full day, but that's okay. Um, I'm definitely gonna make more pairs. I really wanna make a pair that looks more like jeans, like do a faux fly on the front, um, put like a fake, you know, button there on the front. Um, I mean, you could put a fl an actual fly in these pants if you wanted to, but you know. It's got the nice jean kerf pocket. I just, I've been, I'm really finding these very comfortable and very flattering. And I think it'd be fun to play around with back pockets on the back. I didn't have back pockets on this version, but I think it would be fun to play around with a welt pocket or even a patch pocket, depending on what style of pant that you're going for. Okay, um, next up is the Glissando pants. I also just made these um, at the end of the summer. Uh, I showed you, did a video on how to add elastic to the backs to make them more um, fluctuating fluctuating waistline friendly, <laughs> and I made a pair of shorts and also a pair of uh, the cropped um, wide leg pant, which I have been wearing a ton. The navy blue cropped wide leg pant I've been wearing so much. They are just really pulling their weight. Um, I really love those pants. I find them very, to be very on trend. They're comfortable now that I have elastic in the back. Um, yeah, they're higher rise. Like, they're just very, they're very good. I really, I really love those. Um, okay, next is the um, Harmony. Okay, I made this one up for, um, it was a Future Friday just a few weeks ago, and so I made this top up, and I don't, it's just such a good woven t-shirt pattern. <laughs> so this pattern comes with, let's see, it's got a scoop neck, but it comes with a few different sleeve options, and there's even like a petal sleeve or like a tulip sleeve that's on the blog as well um, with pattern pieces and instructions for how to sew that sleeve in. I just did a regular short sleeve, I think. Yes, I didn't do the cap. I did the regular short sleeved. Um, and I've also made this sleeveless. I made a sleeveless version in the summer that I also love. But it's like fitted through the bust and then it kind of flares out. And so I've made both of my versions in a, um, uh, one was a, the sleeveless one was a viscose crepe, but this one that you're seeing right here is a viscose chalet and a round chalet. And oh my gosh, it, this t-shirt is so good in a drapey fabric because it just skims the body. Now, another reason I love this so much is just I'm in love with this fabric of this top. <laughs> this is my current favorite top in my, um, in my closet. I just really enjoy it. Number one, I like the shorter sleeves. They're tighter fitting. They go underneath cardigans and jackets really easily. So this is very easy to layer, very easy to dress up or down. I have been w reaching for this and wearing this top so many times. I, I really think this is my favorite top right now currently in my wardrobe. I love it so much. Um, okay. Sorry, this is out of order a little bit because some of these... Okay. So I think next is the Oct or the um, Olympia dress. All right, so this is a dress that I just made recently, and I, I, I mean, I've been eyeing this dress for a while because the neckline on it is just so good. Um, and I'll be talking about this dress more in my um, knit dresses video that I'm going to be doing. But oh my gosh, the neckline on this is so good, and it was such. A fun make. So the the way that the bodice is constructed, and again, I'll talk about it more in the knit dress video. But it is so interesting. Like it's not just a. I mean, it went together quickly, but it wasn't just like a wham bam, you know, quick knit dress. You know, this one is a wham bam quick knit dress that I've got on, which is a pattern emporium dress. But this one is so interesting, and I am obsessed with the neckline. I just think it is so good, and it frames a face really well. Um, I also really love the fabric I used for this one, but oh my gosh, it's it's such a good one. So definitely, I'm kicking myself for not trying this Olympia dress sooner, but it is, you hear the walking upstairs, everyone's home, <laughs> but it is just such a good pattern. Um, I would highly recommend making this. It comes with an above the knee skirt, a maxi skirt. You can make it sleeveless, long sleeved, um, three quarter sleeved or short sleeved. I obviously did three quarter sleeve on this, but it's just such a fun swishy skirt. And I did the above the knee um, version. Okay. Um, next up is, I mean, I have to put this one on here and you guys are probably sick of hearing it, but it's the Rhapsody. I think that this pattern is one of the all time, there are just so many options for a blouse. <laughs> 
Now it's kind of a, a v-neck option and you can make the strings that come down. Oh my gosh, Kira from Island Socialist did a version. This was re released um, in the full size range. I don't know, um, I think in the spring of 2020 and Kira from Island Socialist did a beautiful hack with like these tassels on the end of the strings that I was just enamored of. I've actually never made one with the actual tassels or the strings or whatever coming down. I need to do that. Um, but I have made this top so many times. Whoops. I'm showing you two versions here. One of which is a silk version and the other one is a um, viscose twill that I had a remnant of used um, the bishop sleeve on both of these obviously and love them to death in fact i think i need i think i need more <laughs> i'd also really love to make the dress version and i'd really like to make a knit version i think that would be so cool it's just such a good pattern and there's so many different sleeve options you can make the dress it's just it's a it's a really good bang for your buck I, it's def if you don't own this one i would highly recommend you buy this one in the sale <laughs> i mean it's this would be like extreme um, value for money on that one. Okay, next up is the Sloan sweater. Now, um, this one, I, I kind of debated putting this one in here just because it's a very basic pattern. It's just a sweatshirt slash sweater pattern. You can do some color blocking with a little yoke that piece that if you want to use that for the front, or you can make it just straight sweatshirt style. It has a, you can have a hood. Um, I think there's elbow patches that you can put on there. Yeah, and you can do like a straight hem at the bottom or you can do a banded at the bottom. But I am so in love with the version I recently made and I did a whole video on styling it because it was a Feature Friday a few weeks ago as well. Um, and you can see one of the ways that I have it here. But I used a merino nylon um, sweater knit from the fabric store and nice and thick. And oh my, I'm just going to wear this so much. Just the color is so good. It's just a really great um, neutral for me. And I mean, it's just, it. you see fancy sweatshirts all over the place right now. And, um, you know, it's kind of that, all over the place in ready to wear right now. It's in it, that lounge wear that's kind of coming back um, a little bit, you know, where their fashion's kind of starting to get away from that just from the whole pandemic, um, people at home, but there's still lots of elements of that uh, lounge wear that are there. And I think it's so much fun to play with the juxtaposition of lounge wear and then try and dress it up a little bit. So I decided to put this in here because I think I'm gonna be wearing that pattern a ton. And it's just a good basic pattern because you can, you can make it more, fancy <laughs> as a sweater or you can just do sweatshirt knit and make it like a sweatshirt so very good all right and then finally I think finally one two three four five six seven eight nine yes for the last one this is another fantastic bang for your buck it is the Sybil skirt so this one was just re-released this summer um, in the full extended size range so it now goes up to a 5xl and um, it's got one, two, three, four, seven different versions that you can make with this. It's got a control top waistband that you can do for the tighter fitting skirts or um, just a regular yoga waistband. Um, I feel like there's a maternity hack on this one too, maybe. Maybe that's just the Sabrina Slims. There's quite a few maternity hacks on a lot of these patterns, if that is something you need. Um, I don't, but I have made this actually um, a few times. So I've made for the, the test, and what you're seeing here is the asymmetrical faux wrap, and I just think that this skirt is so good. One of them is very summery, and I've retired it for summer, but this um, one you're seeing right here, this uh, leopard print, I'm definitely gonna be pulling through the winter, even though it's still kind of summery, um, just because of the lighter colors and the white background. I think I can pull this through fall. Now, when winter hits, I think it's going to have to go away. But you have not seen yet is that I made with the remainder of the sweater knit of, from my Arlington, that red, I made myself the swing skirt, simple skirt. And I just haven't shown you that guys, that to you all yet. But it, in fact, actually you can, well, that I made a cardigan out of it too. Maybe you can't see it hanging there, but it is so good. And it looks so good with the Arlington, but this is just a fantastic knit skirt pattern. Um, and again, for five, for 40% off, like you're getting such, I mean, it's all the knit skirts you need. <laughs> it's just got everything. So I would highly recommend maybe putting that one on your wish list too. That one in the Rhapsody, I think have the most options. I mean, all of these have a lot of options, but I think those two have the most options. Like they're really good ones. I would highly recommend that. 
anyway, those are my top 10 favorite Love Notions um, patterns for the cooler weather. And um, I've got them all linked below. They are affiliate links, which means I do make a small commission um, if you purchase the pattern through those links. Um, no cost to you, but the, I do get a commission from Love Notions when things are purchased through those links. I like to be upfront about all of that. All right, guys, I hope you have a wonderful weekend and you can get some sewing in. Don't forget to check in on Monday. So next week, I will not be posting on Tuesday next week. I will be posting on Monday and Friday. And then there's going to be a third video probably either Wednesday or Thursday next week. I'm not sure yet. So stay tuned for that. Um, but yes, that is kind of how, and then we'll be back to the regular schedule after that. I just really wanted to take full advantage of the sale. I um, mean, the sale starts first thing Monday morning, October 18th. Um, so I have a uh, video coming up on Monday that's going to be, um, I've paired again with Bowdoin. I tried to get, I honestly tried to get away from Bowdoin and use like some other shops. I just feel like Bowdoin pairs so well with Love Notions patterns because they're such great basic pieces like Love Notions patterns that you can then like take up a notch or have like a little extra detail or just a fun fabric. But anyway, I have 10 looks um, from Bowdoin that I have paired with Love Notions patterns and I've included fabric so you can completely recreate the look if you so choose. So that is on Monday. And then on Friday next week, I've actually put together a um, capsule of Love Notions patterns. So if you wanted to, <clears throat> excuse me, create a capsule wardrobe for the fall and you wanted a good price on patterns, on Friday I am putting together, um, it's gonna actually be two mo modules worth of patterns. So I'm gonna be putting, um, I'm not entirely sure how many patterns that's gonna be, but I'm gonna have, you know, if I use the same pattern for multiple things, there will be options for um, two toppers, four bottoms, and six tops. So two modules put together, and I'm gonna be pairing those with um, fabrics for a cool color palette and fabrics for a warm color palette. So um, I will have that up on um, Friday. That'll be a long one probably. But yes, definitely wanna tune in for that because um, I'll have everything linked for you as well if that's something that you want to embark on. Um, and that will be the last day of the sale. So you'll wanna catch that video right when it goes up, 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, my videos go up. So. Um, that's what you want to check. Um, probably the Wednesday or Thursday video, it's going to, it might be a little later in the day, but Monday and Friday, definitely. So there you have it. <laughs> That's everything. Whew. So I will see you guys on Monday. I am going to leave below the um, rules for the giveaway if you're interested in doing that, just so you can kind of get a feel for what that is. Um, I think. No, scratch that. Just wait. All information for the giveaway will be on Monday. But yes, hit Instagram hit the channel, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of the good stuff because yeah, it's some really great um, stuff coming up next week. All right guys, that's all I have. I hope you have a wonderful weekend and I will see you all next time. Bye.